Welcome beautiful yogis to a 10 minute minimal cues yoga class designed to embrace the power and strength of your inner summer. I'm Aiko and I will guide you to this practice that celebrates the uniqueness of each and every one of us. Our bodies are different and carry their own imbalances. That's why I strongly believe in providing personalized instructions to cater to your specific needs. On this channel, I've adopted a teaching style with minimal cues, empowering you to deeply connect with your body and unleash your inner strength. For a safe practice, it's recommended that you have a basic understanding of the features yoga asanas, alignments, and possible adjustments. Feel free to embrace any modifications or adaptations that resonate with you allowing your practice to unfold in its most authentic form. As we transition into the season of inner summer, a time of power and self-esteem, it's important to embrace the natural rhythms of our bodies. Let's support this process and gradually prepare ourselves for the incredible summer that awaits. Whether you're new to the concept of inner seasons within the menstrual cycle or seeking guidance on modifications, alignment tips, or any other support, please don't hesitate to reach out, leave a comment, or contact me directly, and I'll be here to accompany you on your transformative yoga journey. This is a very slow pace session. Let's start in Tadasana for about 6 to 8 breaths to ground and center into the now. Gently put your weight in your right leg and move slowly into three paws. While breathing out, release the pose, shake a bit your legs if you need and move into the other side. Exhale and release, move your legs, your hips, find your center again and we're gonna move into eagle pose for about two to three breaths. Maintain your legs and arms where they are and with a simple hip movement move forward your torso so that your elbows can touch your knee now I'm turning so that you can better see the pose but you can stay where you are 
straighten your legs, your back, keep the same foot on the mat and straighten the other leg backward into warrior pose three eagle arms for about one to two breaths. Release, straighten your back, release your arms and we are gently moving on the other side. Enter into Eagle Pose. With a hip movement, move into Eagle Pose Variation 1. You don't have to turn, simply keep the same foot on the mat and straighten the other one backwards into where your pose, three eagle arms. Gently release, take a deep breath, open a little bit your feet pointing 44 5 degrees out and gently sit into Malasana. Put your right hand on the mat and open your arms into revolt squat pose. Exhale, bring the other arm down, inhale and open into revolt squat pose. Exhale, release your arms, bring them behind your back and open your chest into bound revolved garland pose. Exhale and move on the other side. Let yourself sit on the mat. Gently move into Baddha Konasana for about 8 to 12 breaths. Here you don't have to turn like I do, simply straighten your legs, make sure your back is also straightened into Dandasana. While breathing in, straighten your arms into Urdha Ashta Dandasana for about one to three deep breaths.
and while exhaling, let's gently move into corpse pose. Stay here as long as it feels right for you. You might end by chanting the mantra OM. Mm -hmm.